account. It's Tuesday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afo Labi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Wake in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Good morning. Good morning. Wake before you greet anybody. Let me have, have a vexation for the ladies of your view. I came here angry. Mm. Your view, ladies. Angry. Let me tell you this morning. Hello, sir. If you do not adhere to the master plan of your view, you will go down. <laughs> You will go down. You didn't get the joke. You will go yeah, down. Fool, yeah. She's a joke. Yeah. Uh, she got the joke. joke. <laughs> you didn't get the joke. You know she's a wicked person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are don't talk. Uh, you you well, follow my heart. Well, you didn't get sorry, the joke. Well, sorry. It's okay. I, I got you. It's all like you. You laugh. <laughs> you know I'm not a wicked fan. Anyway, how are you doing, Waiki? Let me come to you. Nothing. Um, nothing major. Just I, um, I forgot to say last week that I actually enjoyed myself in Togo. It was really, really. Ah. Possible. You know, maybe we need to start exploring yeah. more of our African. And yeah, I've been Nigeria. to Togo before. Hmm? There's this their food, Ibriku. I think something, uh, some long thing like that. I can't remember. It's been a long Ibriku time. Is, the one I know is I Ablu. Yes. Hey, good. Ablu with pepper and fish oh my goodness yeah. I can't, it's been a long time when so, i was a kid and then well, because i i spoke about the um trip mm. one uh, blogger or, or something carried it that i said the checkpoints were in togo the checkpoints were not in togo the mm. checkpoints were in nigeria yeah. get your information get right. your facts you know right. the checkpoints were after i left the border ah. you when know, you pass the border fine it is after the border mm. you don't start saying please that. Yes, we're watching TVC Connect. Go and watch it and watch it yourself and mm. hear what she said. Don't want copy. Laziness, just copy off from somewhere and just go. And, and it was here that we had 34 checkpoints. And I hope the new minister, whoever the minister is, is going to now go Do it properly and you know remove all those people. Yeah. Trade them well so they don't have to be there. Mm. Also, we have to, don't forget security. Also, there are people smuggling every single day. Also, yeah. I, think oh, I saw smuggling cars there. Nobody yeah, was touching thing, so them. We have to solve that problem. And so, let me come to you. How are you doing? I am very, very good. Um, this Saturday, Adesua Clement Odige finished from Benson Idahosa University with a first class in economics and was so excited. Congratulations, Adesua. We call her Mimi. Um, my mother-in-law, um, bless her soul, um, we don't, she doesn't have a lot of female children grandchildren. or grandchildren. Yeah. They are just wow. two <laughs> female grandchildren. And Mimi is the first one. And she finished, she made everybody proud, you know, mm -hmm. finishing with first class. Like, she, we already knew she was going to be there. So it was just basically like, Mimi, you need to, whatever it is, just ensure that you me. just ensure you. Yeah. Because you've been maintaining this mm -hmm. close range. So, and That's good. we're also proud of her. To she her. did so well. Young girl in this day and age, we... Let me come to you, Mariam. How are you doing? I'm fine, and I am excited about something. So there's this um, grant that's going out. So it's a Prince Talal International Prize for Human Development 2023, and they'll be giving grants and awards and certificates to people who, you know, have either government um, organizations, um, other agencies, and also individuals who have worked, like, in the... Like SDG 15, that's life on land, especially in things like environmental conservation like I do. And I'm looking forward to be able to, you know, you know, get grants from them. And so you have to nominate me. I'm going to put up more information on my social media. I hope you nominate I me. Start. I have. Yeah, you sent me something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it, there's a link. Good. <laughs> so there's a link. Yes. It's just registered. to help encourage people who are in that space, working in the environmental conservation space. No, please encourage my longer. So encourage me. Nominate her. Very Mr. Lau International Prize for Human Send Development 2023. Thank you. I okay, my fun. let's go on a break <laughs> now. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
we're going to start with the nation. How we will implement Tinubu's agenda by ministers. Five electrocuted, four hospitalized while erecting billboard. Vice President Shatima in Johannesburg for BRICS summit. Nigeria's net foreign reserves at $3.7 billion, says J.P. Morgan. What Fagbe Mishu do as AGF by legal giants? FIRS step up plans to prevent tax evasion by firms and ocean staff audit stalled by National Assembly, by Assembly's action actually. Okay, let me start with um, the Vice President Shikasim Shatima. Yesterday he departed Abuja for Johannesburg. He will be representing the President um, Bola Tinubu at the fifth BRICS summit of heads of state and government. <clears throat> um, yesterday he's a um, spokesperson, the uh, the Director of Information in the Sforms Office, uh, Mr. Ulushala Biola, uh, said that Shetima will join other world leaders and business and political leaders across the world at the summit, which will hold at um, Sanson um, Convention Center in Johannesburg, 22nd to 24th. Uh, all the presidents of, um, I think, China would be there, Brazilian president, the Prime Minister of India, and the president of South Africa, amongst many other leaders, would also be there. So, BRICS, if you recall, is um, the coalition or the acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And uh, they've seen how to explore, to ensure that um, they bring these five developing economies together. And we'll see how Nigeria plays a part in this. I'm not, where, I'm not sure where Nigeria plays a part, but I'm sure our involvement somehow would help in benefiting this. Um, I'm happy that he's going there, but we'll see how the goes. BRICS is doing well. BRICS is evading. Their, their core plan is to stop using dollar. And if we are able to get into that economy, it will do well because they have China. We do a lot of business with China, with um, Brazil, mm. with India. If we can stop using dollar and they have a uniform currency for exchange. I already hear one of its founding values is shared commitment to restructure the global political, mm -hmm. economic, financial, and architecture to be mm -hmm. fair. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so um, FIRS um, in its plan to prevent tax evasion by firms is um, asking all companies that are operating within Nigeria's territorial waters uh, to, you know, they've given a deadline to settle all outstanding cash returns. They said that they issued out this statement once before, twice before actually, and in those directives they outlined the basis of taxation for international shipping lines and urged them to sort out their tax responsibilities within three months. Uh, and, they're saying, and, and this particular time also the deadline is saying that if they do not, you know, do this within the, time, uh, the timeline. The agency will work with relevant security operatives, agencies to prosecute defaulters. Um, as we know, the FIRS is really trying to expand, you know, its operations, making sure that um, um, companies or firms who work within Nigeria um, uh, pay their taxes, you know, mm. and um, any, any companies found evading taxes also will be prosecuted. Okay, another story. I want to take the five that were electrocuted in River State. They, they had been, they had been um, commissioned by a church to mount the billboards, and as they were yes. mounting the metal billboard, as they were mounting, so you are distracting me. Oh, sorry about that. Go ahead. <laughs> so, as they were, I'm saying, I'm, you are making me laugh, and then it's a sad story. <laughs> yeah. Um, as they were mounting the billboards, the metal uh, connected with the high tension oh my God. cable, and five of them were electrocuted, and four of them were hospitalized. Apparently, the passers-by who were in the area took them and rushed them to the hospital, but five were pronounced dead on arrival. Oh my God! Four are still receiving treatment in hospital. Oh, I you thought know, that they were, they were private were... businessmen who were trying to construct this billboard for the church. Really, really sad story. That's sad. Mm -hmm. When I saw it, I saw they all ended up in hospital. I didn't know that five people died. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. so sad. Any story? Yes, the, I was Osho story. The Osho staff audit was stalled by the state assembly, and I, I don't. I trying to understand it. Um, the Osho, the new, the governor of Osho State, Governor Ademola um, Adeleke, wanted to do an audit of. Um, all the staff, he wanted everybody to let's know who our people are, who are actually working. And the workers are complaining that they were being harassed, that the consultants were humiliating them, 
and handling the exercise in the past few weeks and so there was an altercation because people did not want to give all the information necessary and the similar thing also happened in the Oshun State University last week Friday there was protest over the harassment by consultants that they say they are demanding apology um, and because of that the state assembly has decided to suspend has done a directive to suspend um, the verification process See? and they've created a had a committee to look into the issues surrounding the petitions that have come up yeah. with recommendations but the point is it that's, is for your good to yeah, fish out that's civil service for you if they don't want something, they'll find everything in the system to delay it, disrupt it, or just not have it happen at all. So I'm not saying that's a good situation, but I've, I've, I've experienced it before where technical partners will come and try to make a change. And if every, they put every machinery in place hmm. to stall it. They, they protest and say everything. They, because come on, it's just to get an audit. Anyway, let's move on quickly to the punch. Abuja Land FG may revoke land allocations, demolish 6,000 buildings and slums. <laughs> Picture here of the newly um, appointed ministers, Tinubu warns ministers against ethnic politics, appoint unveil the agenda. I want to reunite with Boko Haram husband, says Chibok girl. Ondo teenager confesses taking part in over 40 robberies. Navy arrests 10 oil thieves with over 100 jerry cans. FG may raise $17 billion from oil asset sales, says J.P. Morgan. Government to revive Ajaokuta Steel Omahi Plant Road Inspection. And board chairman, MDs, buy additional 145 billion naira bank shares. All right, so the president was speaking yesterday to the newly inaugurated ministers of the Federal Republic to prioritize the interest and welfare of the entire nation. And its, and, and its diverse population above any regional ethnic politics. Um, he specifically said that you are not a minister of a particular state, colony, region, or ethnic nationality. You are a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And um, this is um, uh, just that's my train of thought. Okay, so he was also setting, setting the tune for the directive for newly ministers. He was saying that it's all about the work, the cohesion, and work of a great team. Um, he expects them to, um, to uh, adhere to the work they, are, they have been asked to do. And um, to serve as a minister is an honor with tremendous responsibilities. And this is a moment of um, abundant promise to Nigerians, which they must fulfill. And he reminded them that um, they cannot disappoint Nigerians who are, expect them to serve with integrity, mm -hmm. dignity, and competence to actualize, act, act, um, to actualize the renewed hope agenda he has promised them. Mm -hmm. It's, well, I, I hope. I mean, if you cannot, the words be, are great. You cannot be a minister from my community, and I will not feel the impact that you're a minister. So even though we say you are not minister to an ethnicity, the expectation is that if they've appointed a minister from this village, at least. No, no, no that's what, what, what that would you do. Local, that's what that would look like. That does. Uh, it was represented. And, uh, yeah. That one has a minister, what would he That one has constituency oh. project. Minister yeah. is minister of Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, we are changing perception. The roads will not be good in your village. So uh, we are changing perception. I can't do that now. We, we, follow the, you, we are it's changing not perception. It's not, it's not a topic. It's about Nigeria. Yes. It's not, it's so let's go on a break. Uh, um, yeah, you're right, Waiki. It's not about your village. I'm, so we're I'm changing perception. Right. When he comes Let's... to visit, you dash your money. That's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> be, yeah, be, <laughs> right. you dash your money. We'll be right back. Let's go on a break. We'll have started. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. For your date, get even fresher with Close Up. New Close Up Triple Fresh Formula. It cleans deeply, fights 99% of bacteria, and cools intensely. Keeping you protected and fresh. Protected and fresh. Protected and fresh. Let's take a picture. Protected and fresh. Just a 7 of 7. My name is OJ and signing a severity into my hands tonight on this social experiment called the 7 of 7. It's Owen G. What is the name? Or what was the name? You see, I don't I won't make them better now. Rock Heart. No, of That's the tall. of the goats. When they brought it on stage. The what? name of that goat. Yeah. We should, uh, go, we should go there. No, no, that one, that one easy now. Mm -hmm. I'm just drinking this so that I can ask him my own questions. It's not because of Buga. He didn't get it. You, you know, you, you know. Okay. Mention 10 female stand-up comedians in Nigeria. See, 
Just mention their stage name. If you annoy me, you will mention their real names and the year they started. And if you annoy me further, you mention the names of their husbands and the names of their children. Try me now. Okay, okay. mention their name. No, no, let's, let's, name. let's just... Mm. No, wait. No, tongue, no. Even name, real name, stage name, husband name, children name. Ten even, of them. Even the ten. That's a lot. Eh? That's a lot. Did I cut your question for you? Yes. When you were happy now, now. With your hands back. You are wasting time. We don't have time. See, my brother, hmm? before we go on a commercial break, eh? you are stubborn. And I told you since. The fact that you play this your hair does not mean. You understand? See this bad hair you are looking at. It's a, experience. I've suffered before you. By China. Were you there during the military era of Abacha and Babangi? You know what happened? I'd be Gen Z. <laughs> so that's what I call for. I will remove four out of ten. That's four like. Four out of ten, they pass it. Come drink this thing. We're going. 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 We're
Okay. So yes. Um, fine. That's fine. That's story. Mm, I have um, the men of Nigerian, the Nigerian Navy arrested 10 suspected pipeline vandals. They were attempting to steal crude from the, from the sea in Lagos. They said the suspects were arrested about 2 a.m. on Sunday at the Single Point Mooring Boy. That's an NNPC facility where tankers are, um, unload their products. Mm. And then from there, it's eventually transferred into tank farms for distribution. Uh, unfortunately for these criminals, the technology electronically detected them when they got on board the vessel. And that was how they were apprehended. And, uh, you know, they've been lined up for all the world to see. They had um, jerry cans, about, um, about uh, over 100 jerry cans. And they had put hoses, you know, to show that they were about to just suck it, put it in and then just start suctioning crude oil. Um, they gave them on to the NSCDC who said that they will investigate who their sponsors are. But then here right. they are, thieves. You know, these are the small fry. My mom is that these are the small fry. Yeah, they are gas. from the small fry. From the small fry, that will get the big uh, People that take the... Um, the pipeline itself. And uh, yeah, but, but, but those small fries way. can endanger the lives of people. When those things explode, people die. So they are just as culpable no, as the I'm big fries. I'm not culpable, but there is no point in just dealing with them. Deal with the real organs. That's how you can stop it. If you keep dealing with the small fry, you will never uh, progress okay. now. Very, very that's story in punch. Yeah, the, 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 um, on those states, state security networks uh, agency, nicknamed, code name, not nickname, code name, Amote Kunko, um, caught a few robbers. These are teenagers that have nicknames of renowned armed robbers. So one of them is Sunday Ojo, 16-year-old, notoriously called Uyenusi. Another 13-year-old, um, Timileni, called Anini. Another 16-year-old that is um, nicknamed Matilo. You know, like, different, they have like this nicknames of n notorious yeah, models. armed Yeah, and they are young, 16, 13, 16, 14-year-olds that um, we're confessing that they've lost the count of robberies they've done. They've done at least 40 robberies. They said it is an evil spirit that has taken over that motivates them to steal. One of them said an evil spirit motivates him to steal. Said that he's been arrested before, taken to a juvenile home, broke out, and went back into breaking shops. He was, he was arrested three years ago. Obviously, then he will be like 14, and now he's older. He goes in, breaks, breaks, breaks into shops, <laughs> steals things from the shops, and um, now he's rearrested. Then he was breaking into shops. Now he's rearrested. He had possession of firearms. Firearms, and they are still going to take him to juvenile home. And uh, talking about how they talk, they ha they've had 31 suspects that they are, um, all of them were being paraded. Yeah. It's so sad. I don't know how we can work on our juvenile homes to be more of the correctional have, facilities we're hoping it you, will be. A question. Yeah. Do any of you know Yunusi? Did any of you hear of Yunusi? I know. I heard of an, an Anini. Anini the, yeah, uh, but I, mean, I watched, I watched the document. Older, but mm. Yunusi, you are all too young to mm. know Yunusi. So I'm wondering how this see. year old, yeah. how he knows Yunusi. They've been telling I was, I was like 16 when Yunusi was killed at the uh, wow. Babich. Mm. Wow. Know? So I'm wondering how... He knows. Is yeah, I'm sure people that told him the so story the of Yunusi. Yes, he's yeah, so revered in some communities. In some obviously. communities right. that they still know him. Right. Huh. They, they, I, Let's move on quickly now to Daily Sun. Uh, Wiki reveals how PDP governors recommended 10 ministers. Niger broke, declares J.P. Morgan. You no. Know. Obi denies reports with coalition with Kwakonso and Atiku. Robbers kill POS operators in Imo. Gunmen kill livestock guard commander in Benue. Youths won't be patient when resources are being looted. CSO warns federal government. And uh, Tuga to unveil new foreign policy vision. I have this very sad story. Okay. It really broke my heart. So this retired assistant superintendent of police and his wife, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Samson Owobo, on Sunday, they were shot dead by armed robbers. These people, this man is a retired police officer. He and his wife have a POS business, and they do this, you know, to take care of themselves. These robbers came, and they came in a vehicle, eyewitnesses say, and they were struggling to take the bag of money from them, you know. And this couple held on to it. They shot the man in the head, shot the woman, and he died. Shot the woman on her side, 
and she was eventually pronounced dead in the hospital. These are, you know, Nigerians doing, do, taking care of themselves, you know, have a livelihood, and then arm robbers come and just end their lives. It's just so sad. And he's a retired police officer, meaning he's even giving of himself to our country, and these arm robbers come and end his life. I just hope that they are that? found. Imo. This is an Imo state. So sad. Mm. Uh, let me take uh, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, has denied talking with or having a plan to speak with um, the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and the NNPP presidential candidate, Rabi Kwakwan. So according to him doing the rally in Edo State ahead of the local government's elections, will be denied reports in the National Daily, which um, said that several meetings had been held between him, Atiku, and Kwakwan so for a coalition in the event that the tribunal orders a rerun of the elections. Um, the report had also stated that three candidates had begun to discuss the possibility of a merger with the ultimate goal of setting up a formidable party against the APC. And he said that was all false. Um, that's, that, 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 those, are, those are things that are all just a bunch of rumors. Yes, okay. so I wanted to say gunmen um, kill another livestock guard in um, Benue. They said gunmen suspected to be bandits have killed a commander of the Benue State Livestock Guard. Mr. Jarule Likita in the Ukum <sighs> local government. Is that, did I pronounce it well, Maria? <laughs> Ukum local government of uh -huh. the state. They said, actually, five of them, this is like the fifth person now that has been killed by gunmen, and there is nothing that they do. They just come, open fire, okay. kill them, and they move. That's um, the um, Zaki. What is it? I'm yeah. looking for his, Zaki Linus, the commander, mm. of, said that most of his men have died in the hands of these bandits. Wow. And he lamented that the government just killed his men in cold blood. All right. So, Tipi oh, Morgan is talking about how broke Nigeria is. Officially, on the CBN website, the figure that we have in our foreign reserve is 33.8 billion. But according to JP Morgan, based on what they calculated, what we actually have is 3.7 billion, which oh, really? is far lower than 33.8 <laughs> billion. Dollars or naira? Dollars. We remove one three. <laughs> well, we, 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 maybe, I did. maybe there was a mistake in removing one three. Um, and, it, and it mentioned the fact that um, it, it, they wrote a report on Nigeria that Nigeria are reform post rather than fatigue. And they were talking about how we've been trying, and that um, as at the end of 2021, there was a $14 billion um, reserve. But by the end of 2022, we had $3.7 billion in our reserve. And we were um, explaining the currency swaps, all the deals being taken place, its impact on our economy. Long and short is Nigeria doesn't have the money it is spending or behaving like it has. And we need to get that part into the head of... I think we already well, know we that. Know we're trying that. to get our <laughs> revenue. We are we're trying no, to get we revenue know. from different places. So nobody's going to tell us what we don't already know. Yeah. Okay, moving on to Vanguard. Don't, very don't agree. Don't, don't no, agree. No, come on. Don't don't shoot the messenger. messenger. <laughs> we are stating the obvious. We already know. Remember. No, 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 they don't know. They, they told us we had $33 billion in our reserve when we had a point. point. It's from the Minister of Finance, who has recently resumed. Okay. Tell us exactly how much we have in our yeah. reserve. Isn't Look that what you do? Yes. When he comes in, we now know what exactly we have. Not JP Morgan telling us what we have. Moving on to Vanguard. Tinubu to minister serve Nigeria, not regions or states. Niger were more likely to use forces ECOWAS. Hmm. Agbakogba task new AGF on criminal justice system. Babies die as women deliver in toilets, says Benue IDP camp manager. Gunmen abduct eight NYSE members on way to camp in Sokoto. And how PDP governor sent 10 ministerial nominees to Tinubu, says Wiki. Okay, which story are we taking in Vanguard, our final paper? Any stories? Nobody took any of the human oh, interest babies. I I, I took the uh, the Makodi inmates uh, um, internally displaced people in the Guel West local government are uh, complaining of the outbreak of measles. All, all the kids are just coming out with measles, and they they, they don't have any um, support system. They don't have any health care. care. So the women when they are about to give birth. They go to the toilets. It's the only place for them oh, where they can geez. just stay and give birth. In Makodi. In Makodi. And I a lot, lot of the babies die. Ha. Huh. Yeah. You know. And so when they, they, they the one that even alarm me was, they, they, they said they don't have money to go to the hospital and um, the place is congested. So they contacted the executive secretary of Benue and he, his answer was, 
I allotted 200 bags of rice to them. And I, I'm thinking, what? Yes, yeah, so the Minister of um, you see, Humanitarian Services definitely has a lot of work. She has a lot of work. And she has a lot of work on her hands. We so, expect that there should be a major reform. So these are some of the things we'd like her to address mm. when she comes in, of course. There's okay. a really sad story that we, would, we haven't been able to get to. The soldiers that um, allege, uh, uh, allegation... Senator um, Solomon Adiola, that soldiers killed his aide. His aide died on the ah, 5th of yes. August. A ah. really, really sad story. Very late in the evening, he was going back home around Ujudu Bega and he got a. He was this stopped by military officers in Lagos. In, in Lagos. Military officers Ujudu. in Lagos that he should bring documents for his cars. He called his wife to tell his wife to send pictures, and that was the last his wife heard of him and the last they saw him. They found his body ridden with bullets oh, at goodness. Toyota. Um, bus stop area of Ushudi, close to the military barracks, and is calling for the lawmakers of the family believe that the Nigerian army needs to account for the body of that um, aid. Talking, he's the second person. That's what the, the, the senator said. He said that guy is. Ladies and gentlemen, multiple award-winning actors. All the Goldie Magnet winners still get to... And Lagos with that, if you're not sharp, a person can jam you! You know, every time you open that your stupid mouth, you show exactly what you know. Hmm? What? You are drunk. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> you can't defend your wife anymore now, Julius. Right. None of this is his fault. What's going on? I can't explain, just come. We are the Durojais. We, we are, are the Akbans. We are the... So how are you two doing? Who cares? She's a root! Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, 
You guessed it. Women. So, if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities, right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Thanks for staying with us. We will be discussing some of the major highlights from the swearing-in ceremony of the minister's designate. It definitely was a colorful ceremony yesterday. We'd like to hear your own thoughts on all the various highlights. I tried to crack a joke earlier with Lily saying that if they don't adhere to the master plan mm -hmm. of your view on TVC, they will go down. Mm -hmm. They didn't get okay. the joke. For those of us who watched, no, I got the joke. Only you got the joke. Mm -hmm. but for those of us who watched, hey, you know, for those of us who watched the honorable minister well. of their city, of FCT <laughs> yesterday, would have gotten the joke that because he has told them that if you have any illegal structures, you will go down. Yeah. If you don't, if you know any minister, know anybody, you think you have high of the, I don't care, you will go Hurricane down. Hurricane Wiki. Hurricane Wiki has come to come into Abuja. Okay, that maybe that's actually said that. Yes. Hurricane, Hurricane Wiki. But they made a clap back, say that, listen, there are more things they need in, in, in FC. It's not about pulling down um, structures. Yeah. We need recreational centers. We need the, the um, spheres, there are spaces for There are needs in the, for FC. So it's beyond pulling down structures. So mm. we hope that he realizes that. But Don't come what are your again. own uh, highlights of yesterday? I would also like to hear from our viewers. Call us on the numbers on your screen. 081-076-41679-090-241-63440. Send us your messages on Twitter or on um, YouTube would love to read your messages. So, which one of them jumped at you? Is it uh, okay. Hurricane Weekend? Uh, yes, no, Weekend Matter. Um, no, 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 not just, not just the, the, the speech. speech, but the drama that Wiki carries, you know. Um, the paper carried that when he was called, he was like the most, imp the most popular appointee. Everybody was clapping. Um, this is the only PDP person that is serving in this administration, obviously, but he seemed to come across as a very popular person, and there was a lot of applause, the, the appointment, um, sad about Okotete and the drama with that, um, and I'm looking forward to what Beta will be able to do, because she has a huge responsibility. The humanitarian um, um, mm -hmm. part of the Ministry of Humanitarian is saddled with the responsibility of IDPs, and the stories we keep hearing about IDP is not good. So what I would expect is there's a, she goes on a tour of all the IDP camps, and it is not an official tour. It is a, an incommunicado tour, like an, unofficially she's showing up. Of course, being protected, mm. we, want, we want her life. We, we value her too much. We don't want any risk coming to her, but we want her to show up and be able to see what is going on right. in the IDP camps. And we, right. we want a young people scatter scatter. Mm. Let it... Mm? Yam pepe ishwa tanyo nyo. Yam pepe skata skata. Let me just cut it. Anyways. <laughs> but we want a, like an expose yeah. of all the people that are culpable. Let there be consequences. Wait, see, because wait, that wait, happens, wait, wait, everybody will sit. That's what just. Nigerians want. All just come in and do fire brigade. <laughs> but it's not about that. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not until you are arrest. Because some people actually want to fix the, fix the problem. They want to solve problems. Because when we see them arresting and scattering, for us they are working. But that's not the work. No, 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 the no. work is not about scattering. No, I, I get your point, I, I, I know. but the we consequences should not be focused on. Because if, the, if this government wants to focus on the issues we have, you waste your time. But if you want to fix the problem, you, fix, you find a solution. Uh, but, I, you I, I, but you can't fix the problem without facing the consequences. Yeah. Yeah, but without see, facing the uh, causes. Yes. And yes. that is why you have to go for those people. Because let me tell you, if you start to arrest people like that, 
And Shouldn't I use my resources like like to fix the problem than use to arrest? I'd rather use my, res my limited resources. How are you, you, you going to fix I mean, the problem, problem without arresting exactly. the people? Can, can yeah. you don't simultaneously? Yeah. Oh. But I also get what you're saying because a lot of we, there was some backlash. Yeah. Would I say back or opinion, contrary opinion to what people described as Hurricane Wiki, they thought that that's not the best attitude to go into this job with, mm -hmm. where you're already going threatening, threatening people, yeah. you yeah. know. So um, I think sometimes let's come in with a little, let's be a little circumspect right. in our speech so that we first um, gain trust is mm -hmm. what we're saying, gain trust first. And then, but you must, but the truth is you must do both at the same time. Yeah. You cannot start one because if you say you focus all your resources on fixing the problem, it will still end up with those who are destroying yeah. the work. Yeah. But then if you say you're just going to chase criminals down, just, you, then you will not have work. time to do yes. the work. So it has to be done like at the same you on time. Yes, arrest them. We'll be the same to criticize so, you when you, you, you say, what have done. you done? Yeah. You see, for me, I think that I'm hoping that Wiki is not all noise, you know? That's because good. for me, I think I like the people that are quiet, quiet action. I love that too. Yeah, but Action. sometimes well, when you come and you say, ha, 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 I, I, I don't care who you are, I mean, star, can you, can you? so somebody was asking on the radio this morning. So, if it's the president that has really go and knock down the president's house, he should be careful oh, of what he's I saying. So. If it is his own house, will he go and knock it down? So, please. We want action. We don't want mouth. Okay. That's all, that's all I, I all would right. say. About Let's talk about the other Wiki. parts of what Wiki has never been my fan. I've never been his fan. Mm. Moriah loves him too. No, we love that's his drama. That's not true. Hey, we love his love drama that. too. No, he gives us On the show, why can't... Yeah, let me maybe just because he forgot. The show is about highlighting things. We yeah. dramatize. Do I know that? Uh, have I ever met Dango? I, I, I know you haven't. I don't know him, but I call him my uncle because it's not my person like that. I know you don't know him. just use those things to connect his drama. Not because you have a personal relationship. I've never loved his drama. Mm. You love Wiki's drama. I, I he gives us content. I, the show Wiki, you have acted some of his don't mind, don't mind his script. Exactly. Yeah, I've acted it doesn't mean I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's show business. We really yeah, it's about business of show. No, he's, he's doing show. So it's the drama yes. that was That's my problem. I could, I mean. Is he, is he, is he doing the, I like his glasses oh, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the other parts of yes, yesterday. There are a lot of the balaying and kneeling down with the those that happened yesterday. I loved her not too. What's her name? Musawa. I loved her. Very, ah, Tomo. Tell us more. She was just, she spoke well. She has serious pedigree, and she's somebody uh, that uh, obviously well educated. And I think she's going to. Do, I hope. I hope I'm she not does going to, well. I hope she's going to do a good yeah. job. But she seemed very. Mm. I, I, I love. But I hear she was so emotional. In yeah, so in, in the papers, I found Once it a again. bit funny because. Um, uh, we had a conversation some weeks back, and Topa was, you know, she was like, ah, when you Google Hanet Musawa now, all you see is she cried, and she would like for her to come on our show one, you know, one, sometime so that we can see her for who she, she really is beyond the emotions. And then the papers go ahead and say, Hanet Musawa cried right. again. again. I'm like, I know she did other things. She spoke well. She represented herself well. She was but you part. choose to highlight did the crying see, again. You see, hot <laughs> tears of joy. Oh, gosh. Hot tears of joy rolled down her, her, her eyes as her citation was being read. So, and they also was, reminded us that she cried again. Remember, yes, we love this. Mm -hmm. They now said that... Um, um, as the presidential spokesman was the anchor for the event, he said, and had to daughter of Second Republic politician, also cried in front of the senators during her screening yeah. as she recounted how she, so uh, she, she treated the cry, huh? So, yes, Anatu Musa is an emotional person, but she's more than that. Yeah. And we exactly. stop reporting in that this way. And that's why we are asking Anatu Musa, Ma, Musawa. please. We would like to interview you on your view. We we'll profile you beyond the hot tears. Marketa, let's move on now. To, um, Lola Adejon, okay. she knelt before the president. And obviously, that people are going on and on. And I was just like, we, like, we, pick, so and choose, we pick and choose where we want to add culture or not culture. Yeah. So, suddenly, we're like, oh, why is she kneeling down? It's just somebody called it eye service. Somebody's calling all sort of things. I'm thinking, she's kneeling down before somebody who is older. It's respect. It's mm. cultural. So, what am I supposed to so see? That makes see? I will see him. And I will not kneel down to, like, who am I? Mm. It's, not, it's just not normal. Even if he's the president and I'm coming in as a minister, the point is he's still the age yeah. that we must respect. And I think that also plays into this conversation where we're having, like, what is our culture? Mm. What is us? What is the... Not defined it. Yes, we need to define it because there was um, the entertainer. I've forgotten her name right now. And many people, you know, there was a lot of conversation about how she received that award. It didn't look like she respected the president. You know, there were some yeah. people who oh, cut yes. it a bit. Oh, yes, the musician, who, Tiani. Yeah, Tiani, yes. She didn't cut, you know, they, yeah. they, they referred, they highlighted those that 
at least bow their heads yeah. or curtsy. She seemed to just walk past yes. him. And we criticize that. Yes. And now we now have someone who is who kneeling down. down and then we're yes. criticized. So we need to choose yeah. what we would like to, how we would like to address our elders exactly. in Nigeria. Yes. Yeah. If yeah. that person yeah. had come before the king of England and had curtsied, mm. we would have thought, oh, that's such a well brought up, polite person. You I, know. I, I thought she was well put together. Mm -hmm. That's Lola Adi John. I loved her corporate look. She looked like she's going there to do work. Yes. Mm. You know, she wasn't yes. there for fanfare with Gilly or even like with some, so, that's some, that's with, that's some, that's some with Gilly I liked. Listen, some with Gilly I liked. I I that's actually I liked her not. Mm. Yeah. But I just thought she looked right. She was ready, ready for action. Because she was wearing a woman's suit. She was going Aww, No, she was Mariah. wearing a dress. It was probably made in Nigeria. We're having issues. Yeah. I'm just trying to let it you know. Ankara I'm trying to, I'm trying uh -huh. to speak on Ankara. Because Waike is out playing because somebody's wearing suits. No, so she, she looks look as, as if she's there to do. She's there serious. Okay. Ready to do her job. She prostrated. But based on her lifestyle. She, she bowed. I'm so Not based on her lifestyle. Based on her CV and what she's always done. This is how she dresses All of them most have of the time. CV. Let's talk about the gentleman that bowed down. The... Minister of Steel Development, Shoei Bula. That one like he slept. <laughs> why? Fully frustrated. Oh my God, why can't <laughs> you know? Why? We need Samuel. to choose. <laughs> How do we greet each other, our elders in or our superiors so, in public? How would no, we like to do it? different cultures, right? Mm, yeah, but what can we... Let's have like a formal... So, so I, don't, I, I don't think we so. I think we, we can't have it universal because okay. that's, what, that's the beauty of our, 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 our country. Culture. However, I think he was respecting the culture of the president because if yes, for somebody else, not. he probably wouldn't do that. But you know the Yoruba band that they won't frustrate Let me go frustrate for him because he was brought up in a Yoruba place where no, because no, I, I had know. issues with my mother you know because she was expecting that as a Yoruba girl I was going to be kneeling down every, every time. time but I wasn't brought up I was a Yoruba person but was not brought up I'm a Yoruba person not brought up within that space of every time you're kneeling down so sometimes the expectation could also be that so you would have seen the president and not kneel down I, no, now, no, with the experience, Moses Tura me be, okay, gotcha. not, my parents had been me, but I did not obey. Yeah. Now, as an adult, when I saw the issue in my marriage and the fact that something as simple as just kneeling down would have solved the problem, I started kneeling down more. So now, I will not see that kind of person and not kneel down to greet the person. Okay, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come out, there's so many other parts of this um, inauguration. Yeah. Because, um, <laughs> you don't need that. Stay me. with us, we'll right back. Ganga. I like that. Hey. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So, if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities, right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome the one who can make time stand still forever, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, Abby. Yeah. It was great. Okay, yeah, thank we, you. We, we thank try you. like that. Thank you, thank you. Now my question. 
Which I feel is a cheap question. Oh, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I'll drink. <laughs> no, you're joking. I'm not joking. Clear your mind. No. <laughs> Shay, you didn't whine me. me. You me no. I think I'll drink. Huh? No problem. Okay. <laughs> I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never really bothered to know what the acronym means. Tell me the, the, the brand of camera that I use so much so that you know, I even became an ambassador. That is that's very easy. You know. <laughs> Hmm. You know, sorry. It's, it's uh, supposed to be, yeah. I just said, let me take and give you this one. As a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Sony. Drink! No, 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 I'm not there, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. No, 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 no. You did not, you, you not say final answer. This is final answer. You did not, you did not ask me if that was my final you answer. You don't have any choice again. It's only how many, how many cameras do they have? I went to drink. I gave you a very easy something. Nikon now. Yeah. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing the inauguration of our ministers yesterday. Uh, I'm told I have Mr. Dini from Makoka on the phone. Thanks for calling, sir. <coughs> yeah, thank you very much. You're live. Um, Go ahead, I please. Just, yeah, I just want to make comment. Number one, um, really just to work with the honorable wiki, what is that? Every country has their own culture. Every people, every group of people have their own characteristics. I think in Nigeria, the best approach was the approach that Honorable Wiki actually displayed. Because in Nigeria, I noticed that when you're trying to arrange things, to, you want to make things formal. At the end of the day, you get the whole things modeled up. At the end of the day, you are not able to achieve the purpose at which you have already set up. So for me, what Wiki said is in order. Do you understand? That's, right. that's the best approach for me in Nigeria. The same, that was the approach the President actually that was what he, he applied when he was sworn in. At the training, he declared that all subsidy is gone. Let me tell you, if he had waited probably two weeks, three weeks, forget it. Right. it eventually, it may just become so right. difficult. Thank you, Mr. Denis. They're very different styles. You, you might be right. Some people have different styles, but that's, that's one technique the president used when he says subsidy is gone. And of course, he had to pay for the re repercussions because a lot of Nigerians um, uh, resisted it at the time. But however, he, he stood his ground. So maybe that's the style Wiki is using in insisting that all the buildings that don't follow the master plan will go down. But we'll see how it goes. Um, other highlights from yesterday. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, the uh, the minister of um, info uh, no minister of steels yes he said Mr. that Adela Laki. It was the... <laughs> he said that it was actually planned the fact let me even read his comments here specifically mm -hmm. he said that I know lots of people thought okay, um, oh, I think I missed it Ooh. well he was saying that lots of people thought that he would get minister yes. of information. Mm -hmm. However, the president had decided to put yeah, him... I have that. Okay, you have said my ahead, portfolio please. has been the upset of the entire cabinet because given my antecedent exposure and experience in the area of perception, information management, and the likes, so most people had pigeonholed me oh, okay. for information. And so we decided to shock everybody. We decided? <laughs> yes. Like, I, I feel like you said the president decided to shock everybody by not assigning him to Ministry of Information and putting him to use within the Ministry of yeah. um, yes. Solid Minerals. True. That's a ministry that I'm looking forward. You know, we have lithium. Hmm. Nigeria, like Nigeria has yeah. minerals that and are he, very, very... And he said something. He said, I mean, all general crude is generally drying up eventually. That mm. the, the, the steel, our, our natural resources, that is a new oil. Is it, that's, that's where the money is going to be. So obviously, as we said before, we predicted that the reason why the president put somebody he trusts, because he knows that that's the new frontier. That's what, that's, that's what that's we need to explore to money. ensure that the money comes to this country. So mm. that's somebody he trusts, and I hope that they're able to fix some... Um, I really hope... I really, really hope that they can that do ministry. something because if they do it and they do Can it we well, talk about 
Can we talk about the Minister for State for Education, Yusuf Sununu? He has promised to work like a bricklayer in the office. He said, just like a bricklayer, that he is facing the challenge of laying hundreds of blocks every day to ensure the progress. Um, he will do the same with the ministry. So we're expecting him to be a very, very hard worker. And I'm happy that he's working within the Ministry of Education because it's a ministry that we need a lot of work done. I don't know what the Ministry of State will be doing, though. Let me use uh, <laughs> Let me use this. Let me take Cecilia and I come to you, Mariam. Cecilia, thanks for calling. Hello, good morning. Morning, nice you're live. In your, on your program. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes. Great program. One. Thank you. And then secondly, I want to say that Wike is a political leader. Wike is the greatest among us. I watched the program yesterday. And just like you said, Mitchell was the only one, only uh, minister that had a standing ovation. I mean, simply awesome. And I can tell you, Wike is a man that talks. What's the talk? Wike is one man that would say, I will do this. He will walk towards it. He will do it. Wike is the type of leader we need in this country. Okay. Nigerians are not disciplined people, with due respect. Okay? <laughs> Including myself. Everybody is guilty of this. And Wike is the only one that I think that will bring sanity to, uh, uh, to yes. SDT. Right. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Cecilia. She lives in Abuja, so obviously she probably has some insight. Uh, a few more comments from the ministers. I have from the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Mr. the former governor of um, Ocean State, Mr. Uyotala. He said that um, our oceans cover more than two-thirds of our planet's surface, holding the key to sustainable economic growth, environmental preservation, and technological innovation. As we look ahead, my vision is rooted in the responsible management and utilization of our marine resources to benefit not only our economy, but also the health of our planet. So when I heard that, I was keyed in, and I will be watching, yeah. you know. Because closely. We're watching closely because, yes, what we're constantly preaching is sustainable development. Mm. And I feel that Nigeria hasn't done a very good job of that. So I'll be looking closely to see how yeah, I think he manages to do this. That, that's my own... I have your preferences. Like, I like the Hannah Tu girl. Yeah. I thought she was really nice. I thought she was elegant. I thought she was well-spoken. I thought she's got done so much in her short life. I also liked um, Lola Ade John. You know, I... I also like the one that saluted the president. That's, uh, um, oh, I got her like name. Like if did a full watching of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, me, let me get her name. That's, That's Iman, I Iman think. Suleiman That's Ibrahim, Iman. Minister of Police Affairs. Yeah. Wow. She has no background in police, but she just had to respect that new office, which was really great for her to do. You know, so I, um, the minister, what, but, yeah, go ahead, Wakil. What I hope is that the vigor in which they greeted and they knelt down, and that is the same vigor that they will put in the ministries that mm. they had and something will happen so nigeria what we need and i hope the ones that don't deliver that the president sacks immediately yeah yeah please we don't want the repeat of that when people were there for a long time even when there were stories it seemed like for this president would not be like that our president has been very very responsive even when people gave feedback we saw an immediate response response there wasn't minister for Niger delta there was a response. There was a there was yeah, a removed the the Agbalagba. That yes, Agbalagba now. Yeah, the uh, uh, of youth. Removed no, the youth. No, 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 yeah, Waiki, yeah. yeah. you're late to the party, Waiki. <laughs> she's 30, Dr. Beta Edu is 36. 36. And she's, um, she says she's going to be... And all the other, the average said, seems to be like 40 something. Yeah, and now she's 43, my age. Mm. Like, but we had fewer women than we expected. Yes, we'd have lot more, just the like 8 out of 45, yes. that's a small We had figure. fewer women than we expected. I was hoping any other addition to the list would be, be female. female. Um, but I want to talk about environment. Now, I know that's Mariam's key department, but there's a part for me. It is our speed of desertification. Like, we're, we're not re it's, it's one of the renewable area. Like, of all our resources, we can replant trees. And it can, it's like the easiest thing to do. That we, if we the economy, so that means, I think there's a different yes, minister yes, for that. That's different. There's that's a different, a different minister, minister for, for that. 
Wesola is um, um, Minister of Marine, Marine and Blue Economy. Economy. No, no, no. I said, I said environment. 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 Oh, sorry. I said the Ministry of Environment okay. that um, I want, I want a, like, give us, sell us a vision yeah. okay. that we can all tie into yeah. and something that would make a huge difference in Nigeria. The heat in Nigeria, like, global warming is a big deal. And if we just say we want to plant, we can. It doesn't cost us a big deal too to do so if you get people to cooperate with you right. to say we're planting so we're looking trees. for policies that mm. will push that and we're looking for better implement implementation of, of the those rest. policies mm. let's not just be speaking because everybody can you know take a book and read what you're supposed to say when mm. it comes to the environment That's or the climate idea. change but then how do we actually run um development in nigeria mm. i mean in lagos alone we're talking about the wetlands and mm -hmm. how we're trying to develop we are building all sorts of buildings yes or we do not care about the natural we have, resources we have that cleared out the so, wetland and sold it finished okay so uh there was uh, one that i was interested in actually uh the minister of state petroleum resources mm -hmm. that's oil. oil so the president divided it minister for petroleum um, state petroleum resources oil and state petroleum resources Gas. Yeah. So the two different ministers, I guess he said he had to separate them. Same Heineken Lokobiri has vowed to go to the creeks to attain the desired results in the sector. He said he pledged to work hard to increase the production. Heineken, Heineken Lokobiri. He said that he said he's going to be he's not going to be in Abuja. He's going to be stay more in the Amen. creeks. Mm. The minister who described himself as a creek boy mm -hmm. he he stressed he would not spend much time sitting in the office, but he'll be in the creek. So I definitely will remember. Remember. Look, you know, when it comes. I hope he's he's not just he's not he a man of integrity yeah. if he's going to do it yes because if you are not on the job if you are not there it's the same thing that's why there are 34 checkpoints on the road because okay. there is nobody check. nobody is checking you have to go there because if you don't go and if they know that you are going to come and surprise them bam like this everybody will so why can't you if you, you repeat this checkpoint thing is it possible that if these checkpoints are actually effective and not collecting money where they're actually stopping criminals you'll be you you'll, you'll be okay with it because is your issue the number or the in, in their inefficiency on the collecting money from the corruption of corruption. But you need 34 checkpoints i'm just saying that we, if, if i feel i need 34 or 100 checkpoints to ensure that people don't continue to um smuggle into this country if i need 100 checkpoints maybe i'll put it there i'm just asking a question what? is it that their corruption you have, do you have an issue with or the number Both. I, I have an issue with the number. Okay. I have an issue with the corruption. Okay. The corruption first. Okay. And what I'm saying is, if you are minister, if you are minister, I don't know if it's transportation the minister of interior now, there's or a... interior, whatever yeah. minister you are, if you don't go there yeah. to see what is happening or respond yeah. quickly to feedback. Because yeah. okay. too. let me quickly take this call from Razak. He's been holding for a minute. Good morning, Razak. Thanks for calling. I'm so sorry yeah. for keeping you. Like, if, if, if you have, if you have. Um, uh, Laura Ade John, who is doing tourism, and she's trying to invite tourists into Nigeria. And you have uh, the checkpoints this, stopping tourists from calling me. If, you keep, if I, when I get to Nigeria, I spend three hours for a journey that would have been one hour, I'm not going to come again. Mm. And I'm not a smuggler. You can check me to see if I'm a smuggler now. Obviously. They, you it's know. easy. You open the boot, you open. The smuggler cars, they go past there every day with their so uh, the extra... So the corruption, uh, corruption that we're upset about. Yes. I want to be clear that we're very... And maybe if there was no corruption or less you corruption, less. You, don't, you wouldn't need as many checkpoints. Check but I was going to say about the Minister of State for Petroleum um, Resources, Oil. He said he's a creek boy. And most of the um, stories we hear from that area is all the bunkering that's going on, mm -hmm. the vandalism that's going on. And they seem to be such a very violent group of people as well. So in enforcing, in enforcing the laws, you know, we're thinking he may need a lot of community um, collaboration to be able to do his job. And since he's a creek boy, he comes from that area, maybe they're able to relate with him because he's one of them. And I hope that he's able to do a good job. Remember, I, I think especially last year when we were reading about hmm. Tony Luminlu and many other investors in the oil that business, they're crying that a lot of the resources that they lose goes to the stealing, the bunkering, the mm. vandalism. So yeah. this is something that I wish he, I hope he's able That's to handle fix. well as a clean <coughs> boy. He has promised us. Okay, we have a caller. Ainde, thanks for calling. Good morning, man. You're live. Uh, the first caller. Sorry? I'm the first caller. I mean, first caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, people. Thank you, sir. Please, our problem in this country is all about corruption. The police, see all the, all the law enforcement agents, they are not doing the job. They are outside to, to extort money, not doing the job. 
The second point are not there to check whoever that is going or what you have in your boots or what you carry. Don't give them money. So that is the problem. That is the problem. So if God help us to, 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 to handle the issue of corruption in this country, everybody will be fine. Instead of them to check the, 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 the what do you call the, the, the criminals, they, they are so corruption goes hand in hand with the people and also the justice system, you know, because if people feel that I can get away, because anybody wants to cheat, your, your natural instinct will see how you can um, get away with something. But the truth is that when you have a system that checks you, you are able to stop it. So corruption can be fixed if first we the people take responsibility, one, the government, two, also take their own responsibility and ensure the judiciary is spread. And, that, and that's why and I think um, Agbakoba was trying to advise the new AGF, you know, on what he needs to do as he becomes the Attorney General of the Federation. That's um, Mr. Fagbemi, um, mm -hmm. SAN. Um, so, I, I mean, the, there's a lot of work to be done in the judiciary, and we have to ensure that... Um, the judiciary is not I have just a problem system. with what you said. Yes, go ahead. It's not our natural instinct to cheat. It's not my own natural no, instinct. No, I didn't say natural instinct. It's always a natural instinct to just get ahead, advantage to do something. So you take advantage of a system. You, you want to find something. So if you don't find, you have you find other ways to get it done to satisfy your own inner need. But the truth is that we must understand that it's not about me alone. We have to have a social system where we believe we have to focus on what the system allows us to do and cannot do. So the system must check us. It's not just about my own personal needs. That's, that was the point it's, I'm trying to make. Besides, the judiciary is the is the last enforcement resort for yes. all the common men. Like this is what if we want to stop jungle justice is judiciary. If we want to improve um, fairness and equity is judiciary. If you want people to trust the system is judiciary because even if a corrupt politician or somebody tries to cheat me. I know that if I go to court, uh, anything I take to court, at least the court will defend me. Yeah. If the court can back common, the common man, uh, then we, we have people a country. Will, people will readjust themselves. Then we have a country. Yeah. If the court can, can punish the highest to the lowest, then we have a country. It's Let me take the equity. Stephen from London. Thanks for calling. Hello. Stephen from London, you're live. Ladies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning sir. A wonderful job you are doing. Thank you, sir. Thank you for keeping us updated about the affairs of our nation. Um, just to express my optimism about what we are seeing, um, President Tinubu seems to be somebody that is solution driven. You want to believe that all of this crop of individuals, achievers, they will do an excellent job. And um, so on. Hopeful, I'm optimistic. We are praying. Uh, somehow, we are not so much in a position to help one way or the other, but we can pray. And we can also give support to our people at home. And so, um, I hope and I pray that uh, these, uh, these crop of people will prove their critics wrong. So, we are, I'm looking forward to them changing. You know, people get surprised and say, oh, did this happen in Nigeria? Um, some people are making comments about our airport in Nigeria, how, how it was it. The one in Abuja. Thank you very much, Stephen. We didn't get most of what you said, but I'm sure he was... He was just saying that um, he's, he hopes the president is purpose-driven yeah. and so that results... I think he was just saying, yeah. you know, and which is my own... I'm just... I'm not here to criticize anybody. I'm just here to, because hope. right now, we need good governance. And we need, and we need to change Nigeria. And we need more than now. words. The words yeah. are nice. They are colorful. They are so, right. But we need more than words. So in that space, I, um, um, to, to support what you said about we need, uh, the Nigerians are feeling a huge pinch of the economic challenges. So we are more aware than ever. And a lot of people are put pressure on the ministers. But before we talk about putting pressure on ministers, I'm going to beg all Nigerian contractors, portfolio contractors, connections, all of you that know any minister one-on-one -on -one or know someone that knows the minister, please sit down in your house. Don't send congratulatory messages that is laced with opportunities for contracts. Leave them and let them do their work, please. They have also put your advert in the paper. There is advert paper yesterday, uh -huh. I know. So I'm begging. The paper was heavy, advert 
Bunch celebrating, nation. everybody wants their name to be shown. Let the con let these people contract us. Well, let's con let the but government. The contract, but, the but the minister cannot go and tie the rules by himself. Yes, he needs to get yes or contract. Yes or yes. He should give it to the best hand. Yes, yes. So the member. best hand. Yes. Best hand can be a family but member. Family members now will start telling them, okay, you know, I do this one, I do that one. What if your family member is a very, is a fantastic we don't, contractor? We don't want nepotism. That's my opinion. No, they are meant to even just follow due process. Follow due process. Due process. You will can be a family member. Follow due process and still get it. We know because you're a family member, you shouldn't become contract. I'm just asking a question. Let us be because if you are a minister, hang in there. If you are a minister today, and I am a family member, and I'm actually very good at my work, somebody just appointed his cousin to be a person. We, we don't know. I will need to send you a reminder mail or text message. Or I will send you a reminder. Hi, you, you, you congratulate. I know the areas where you are good. I know if I want to do PR for a 360 right now, yes, I will talk to Mariah. How can we package this thing? She will give me ideas. She knows how to push the. But you forget media. because I, there are I, I will not forget. Let me tell you. you let me good. tell you why you forget. I let me tell you why. Hang, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Let me tell you why you forget, Nima. Because you are not addressing. It's not about me. You have so many people around you. You have a system. You are just a minister. Mm. The civil service that works. That there's a system in place already. And you know what? You get swamped. And if you are not reminded of where you're coming from as a technocrat, of the people who you work with, who you know you can trust, you will just be swamped into that. So mm. sometimes that does not don't always. Let me tell you something. Yes. You see, integrity yes. has a lot to do with this. Yes. I mean, because I know Tokwe and Tokwe has become minister, yes. mm. I will now start calling Tokwe or yes. Auntie Annie will not supply Adire. Adire. What was Auntie Annie so, about Adire, but they will give, will give her the contract to supply Adire so, because I'll say she's from Adire. Um, I know no. somebody, I know somebody ah. who knows one of the ministers. Mm. In fact, the minister, the, the minister was, was that, that person's <laughs> ex. <laughs> Listen, you know, the minister was that person's <laughs> ex. So... Another person that knew that that person is the ex mm. sent a message saying, hmm, you own not better. Your ex so, has become minister. Your ex has become minister. Oh, kiniko, kiniko. So, so I asked the person. What should she do? I said, ah, are you going to send text to me? Oh, no, no. I, I, don't, I, I don't do that. That is integrity. Mm. Yes. Personal integrity. That is integrity. Mm -hmm. I don't want, it's not because I know you that I should get something. And I think if we all started to act like that, because you know, you're always saying, we the people, we the people, this is part of we the people. Mm. So if, but the, but the point is, Waiki, I mean, around the world, we've seen Trump hire people around it. We've seen, even, that, the, point, the point, the point, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, Waiki, Waiki, hear, hear me, no, hear me. Example. All point, his family. Waiki, the, ah, point, ah. the point is, the point is, the truth is that we are always, we are, we're already preempting that people will come around these ministers. That is how, that is natural. But let us not also think that, um, and I lost my train of thought. Let's we are watching them. When we come back, we okay. continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right and long standing member of the multiple award winning all female show, your view, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ifula Kuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah! Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, I said 75. But that's why I wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You can drink out. Take, 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 take. Make a, I go make a help you. Russian, Russian, Russian. No be half. I try. Which half? You will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Light in, in no. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa Road. Nepa Road. In Avel Kuta. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah hey, Omo Omo fella. Omo Omo Anikola Kukuti. Oh no, baby, can you kick it? It's by all this one, it's not by all this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm.
So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So, Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing this ministers, what your expectations are. Um, uh, let me come to you, Tokwe. Um, so, and I know also the president also gave a very inspiring speech. Yeah. Um, he was saying that we shouldn't lead with ethnicity, from your colony, from your region. We should lead because you are now a minister of the Federal Republic. What the, how does that communicate to you? Um, it, it sounded right. It sounded like what we need to hear. Yes, no, no minister should be leading based on their ethnicity. Even though they are more comfortable with people from their area, they must open themselves up. So it was a good announcement to us. And I hope they comply. I know it will be tough. You know what I'm saying? It will be tough. Honestly, it'll be tough because people want, if you are from my area, and I know that you're a minister and you're from my area, I want to feel the impact of what you've done in my area. People always talk about Obasanjo not doing, Otter Road is not possible, and there was a gov president. Whatever that the former president will talk about, they always tell him that the road to your house is not possible. You cannot drive from Lagos to your house. That's it. You can, if you are from a state, they must feel the impact of what you've done. But just ensure that you are fair in what you're doing. Okay, let me take this call from Yinka. Yinka calling from Yaba. Thanks for calling, Yinka. <coughs> yes, good morning. Morning. Good morning, Orayo and your team. Morning. You guys are doing great work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well done. Okay, so, um, um, uh, your, your, uh, Morayo, I think you feel the same at this two or three years ago at the same attire, and you were dressed in one night at the address like that. And then you said somebody should give you a Niger Delta name. So I gave you a this one. And then I've been trying to call them their two. Oh, thank so you. Thank you, Inka. Like every one of them. Thank you, Inka. <laughs> like so, you, Inka. Um, remember um, generally, for the country, I wish uh, I'm sure people are best to go and if the ministers, I wish them the best of luck. They actually need time to perform. Nobody should watch them. Though we are expectant, we want the best. But good luck to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mariam, let me come to you. The president's speech, um, especially at this time where there's a lot of division, there's still a lot of politics playing because yeah. I know even Peter Obi was in Edo yesterday. They were trying to uh, rally people around for the elections coming up. So there's still a lot of, you know, talk here and there. Yeah. What are your thoughts on his speech? I think the president, this particular president, has done a good job of understanding what needs to be said and how it needs <laughs> to be said. Maybe apart from that, subsidy removal is gone from immediately. But, you know... He understands, he, he understands that Nigerians are actually really looking for hope. We're looking for someone who can give us like a guideline, you know, where to go and what to expect. Um, the message that he preached with his speech is an important one, as you said, is we have differences politically, ethnically, um, religious, and especially, you know, with his own ticket, which was a Muslim-Muslim ticket. So I, I love that the messaging we're getting from him, from his, uh, from his cabinet, like with Ajuri Gelali, we remember also his speech was really about um, we're all together, we're one, yeah. and we're working for Nigeria. And we need to put Nigeria back on the uh, from Burna. We have talked about, oh, I'm Yoruba, I'm Igbo. We have used those different ethnicities many times to argue points with each other. But now is Nigeria's time. Anyone in the Federal Executive <coughs> Council, anyone representing us anywhere is representing us as Nigerians. And we just want to see Nigerians go forward. We hope that every minister or everybody that is representing us politically or otherwise by appointment, you understand that 
it's about the interest of Nigerians right. and not your interest. And it's not political interest now. I feel that the president has done the good job of giving everyone, you know, paying back for whatever political thing you yes. have contributed. But now is the time to work right. for the Nigerian people. Okay, let me take this call from Joseph. Thanks for calling from Abuja. Hello. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning. So, uh, please, my contribution is this. Um, of course, uh, all of them, they want, to, they want to let us know at their introductory speech that they are able to do the job. Of course, they have to, they have to convince us that they are able to do that. But the momentum, someone like the Minister of Abuja, the informal Minister of Abuja, uh, yes, just on weekend, the momentum is, is coming by the counterproductive, because we know the economic, the prevailing economic reality in Nigeria. Talking about uh, doing away with slums, destroying houses, this and that, then you haven't even come in, you're already threatening everybody. You might be counterproductive, so you have to, have to turn down on this, on his uh, policy programs. It's really not ideal to speak like this for now. Uh, secondly, uh, Mr. President has done well. Uh, I think he gave to people, uh, he gave jobs to people who are who skilled, actually, as in the engineers he gave to the engineers, the economists he gave to the economists, where they belong to, which is round hole, round, uh, square, uh, round, round peg in a, sorry, round hole in a, a square, uh, round. No worry, we get the point. We get yes, the Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yes, okay. well, thank you very much, um, Joseph, for your comments. You know, many young Nigerians were excited about Boston to Johnny. Yeah. But yeah. well, we didn't hear him speak, though. You know, he was really rather. Yeah, he didn't hear, like, he didn't hear him. But you know that it was a bit conditioned. Uh, last time we used to. They went Boston to Johnny stood up when they were reading the citation. The citation. There was one that was looking at him like this. <laughs> Are you serious? Why are you I don't know whether I was a minister, whether I was a senator. Was 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 a were you there? Why you his CV? Was he was really It's not his CV. You know, you know he oh. has that. He called them morons. Oh. So he was looking for look at this. Was he a, was he a senator? Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I don't know who he was. He was just one. Like was yeah, you're just reading. You're face. reading minutes. Of I, I said this is how he was looking at him. <laughs> 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 okay, well, yeah. let me let me do so, so it. I, I was right there. I was right there. Look, look, look. He said, Look, look. He said, This is up. And it, because the camera was on him. Oh. It wasn't what happy. I was thinking about right, something right. else. Let me take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was a senator. Fiona, Fiona is telling us something looking for him in church for jobs and contracts. <laughs> Fiona. This is what happens in Nigeria. Another person said, All I did is said, There's nothing wrong with marketing your product. So let the process be free of favoritism. Yeah. Simple. Favoritism. Simple. That's the key. I know Topwest comment is around man, no man culture. Um, it is man that will know man now. I mean, let, 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 why, why are we pretending? It's yeah, so follow it's the good. system. Yeah, follow the system. They, let's not act all self-righteous. The truth is that if you know somebody who has an opportunity, even if they're a bank, a private, um, the private bank or a, a private company, you say, oh, my uncle have an uncle who is the, who's the director there. Please, sir, how do I do? They'll tell you, apply to HR. Once you get shortlisted, let me know. No, there's a process. Even man, here, man, man, okay, yes. there are people who call us that I want to become intern. Because because I don't know you. Mm. I've never seen you in my life. Because you are a fan on the, you send me a message on Instagram, automatically you expect me to refer you to be internship with TVC. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. But it's all part of that. It's the mentality that we have to know somebody. So the point is, yeah. it has, said, we have to find a way to walk around it. You don't need to congratulate your loved ones. You I don't agree. need exactly. obligations to congratulate your loved ones. Use the money somewhere. Let me money. take this call. People are making me call. Wait, wait, I have money. a caller. Antony, what's See the See Garba or Rasaki. Garba, Good thanks morning. for calling. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Marayo. I have been watching and following you guys for the more than five years. Oh, thank time you very much, Garaba. Welcome to, to the show. Marayo, Miriam, uh, Ojabulu, <laughs> and uh, Nikolapo, all of I agree to people. But thank you. Let me go this way. And my contribution is on the Minister of Humanitarian. That's the data. Mr. what? He has a very good Humanitarian. Okay. I'm using this platform to cry for the plight of them. Now, beneficiaries. I guess someone that is close to me and is a teacher. This is still January to them. They have not been paid back to them, which is unfair. Let me say something, Marayo. If they say those young men, that's a big concern on the system. I'm telling you, it will go around our economy. I know what they are going to do. Can't hear him. Please, I'm hoping on If you enter office, we try and go. It's not very clear, Garba. I do apologize. We couldn't hear you very clearly. Somebody was going to jump in. I was going to confess yes. that if it was me, Mm. Right. That it is my ex that becomes minister. 
You will greet him. I, I will definitely greet him. Ah, there you go. <laughs> what kind I'm of still ex? suffering. If it was an ex, I was just mean say, to you. Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Any ex. Exactly. So let's not let's not pretend. No, we will talk about the big mouth here. If if they make white it's minister of tourism no. tomorrow, you will not now go and get white. We are just saying it's not right. Uh, a minister who is your ex will say follow. there's a system. Yes. Go Why don't you process? Uh, we hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a terrible? Oh God. Let me take back. I don't want to. You're lying. Hope not. Okay, uh, my mom, she's a fan of you ladies. Thank you, regards so to her. Saying, yeah, yeah. Uh, my problem is the minister of FCC, Uwiki. Uh, okay. Just like one of your callers said, uh, it's wrong for him by just getting to the ministry and start uh, running from, uh, 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 let's say, program of the FCC without him settling down that is going to uh, benefit the elite. Abuja is a place that is not only for the rich, but I just want him, let him focus on the on the poor people mm. in, yeah. in FCT. And one thing about FCT, they have cameras. I think that they should work on their cameras, their CCTV camera. Yeah. It's very important. It's That's something that can Thank you very much, it. Benjamin. That's great feed feedback to the Minister of FCT. It's important. Mm. We shouldn't just get, and also ensure that the CCTV's camera begins to work. It's across. not just about knocking down structures. Mm. But, the, but you should knock down structures that are illegal. I, I'm not saying don't knock down I know down what Lagos is going through right I'm, now. I'm, People I'm, have been building houses for years, 20, 30 years. They're now demolishing houses. And they say, ah, they're demolishing houses because governance did not meet them many years ago. They just went to kind of build houses in different um, places that they shouldn't be building houses. So we are already suffering for it in Lagos. So FCT cannot be like that. And that's what he's trying to ensure, that people who are taking advantage, they've done it in their own various states, and not coming to FCT to come and just take advantage. You can't do that in FCT. So that's what we're trying I to do. I agree. I'm not saying oh. you shouldn't do that. I'm just saying Thank it's you. not just about knocking down yeah. structures. Oh, yes, yes, it's also about actually expanding the city. Mm, I think you should more. take a leaf from when Paul went to the church in, I can't remember, and he said to them, he said he first told them the good about themselves before he now said, explain to them the bad things that they have done. <laughs> so tell us, give us the hope message. When I come, I'll make sure the lights work. The outskirts will not be left without development, you know. And then eventually, all these illegal structures will be taken down. Then it looks like, oh, okay, this person wants to But do you know that us, this announcement on Wiki us. can cause people to quickly go and um, regularize their documentation. Exactly. They rush to the, by, the, by this morning. Everybody has gone to go and make sure that they have their documentation properly correct because somebody has announced that I'm going to start demolishing. So that's Nigeria. We like all oh, this. Oh, you have put people brigade. on the but defensive you, and they are waiting to see how far you go. No, because oh, he has he too has yeah. to be on top of it. If it's an illegal structure, if it comes to his table and they are just strike because every he must make sure that every. I have a caller from FCT. Omar, thanks for calling. Let's hear FCT people. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, uh, thank you, ladies, for the nice job you are doing. I, thank you. you. Uh, Murayo, I want to really, you as a person, I want, you are not normally pick my calls. You will keep me waiting at the end of the day. She doesn't pick calls. I don't pick off. calls on live TV. We have yeah, a back end that picks yeah, calls. Yeah, yeah, somebody has to pick calls, but you will not, you will not, you will not. Sorry, Mr. Omar, I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, I sincerely uh, apologize. Fine. Uh, yeah, I, I want to contribute to this, your topic. Okay, go ahead, topic please. You are discussing this morning. The truth of the whole thing is, uh, YK, if I want to refer to YK, you say because he's your ex, ex so it might not be your, maybe your, your, your friend of your friend in life, your former ex is be appointed, or your former friend is appointed as a, a minister or any other position at all. You will not call that person. I, as a person, I will look at you as a, an enemy. No matter what, as long as that person has been given an appointment, it does not really mean that you are going to say, get favor from him, that person. No! You will come to congratulate you. My will see that they are dashing or her or what I want to do. What he or she does not know. Congratulate somebody does not really mean you, you are looking for favor from that. All right. Thank you very much, Omar. We have yeah, to wrap up. You can call, but it doesn't mean that you are calling because you want favor. So there is no, yeah. nothing wrong with calling. Yes, there's no, not there's no assume. Yeah, it's because of favors. Yes, I can just send a message to your ex and say, hey, hi, whatever. Uh, anyway, we have to... I'm here. We have to wrap up on this. <laughs> I'm we have anywhere. To, Remember me. Um, let's just use this opportunity <laughs> your to congratulate all the ministers and Nigerians are expectant. And we hope that indeed they work hard 
and um, they are transparent and they don't apply ethnicity or religious um, beliefs in this work they're doing, they should focus on Nigeria because the president has said, has sold renewed hope to us. Yep. And we're hoping that they will carry that renewed hope torch and not be you know, um, doing things that we don't expect. Anyway, that's all we can take on well, this segment. Out. When we return, it's our Tuesday when we discuss health. We're going to be having a talk on diphtheria. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues and last but not the least a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate and yes you guessed it women so if you catch the drift then you're on to something we will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Grand Comedian of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Benga the Inca, the first! <laughs> OJ right here, 7 of 7, like you already know. Benga right here, 7 of 7, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I go drink. So, okay. so now one chance for me to My, My first, first question. question. Do you remember the, the names? of the winners of that edition of Star Quest. Of course I do. Why uh, do you? And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate myself for this. Because I have this question for you. Final question. No. Where, where outside Nigeria and what's here? I think you're the only one that can be wicked. I am thinking because I know back in the day don't think, oh, don't think. Answer my question quick, quick. You are thinking too much. I don't like it. The UK. Final answer. <laughs> okay. I said, God, God, please, let me to perform outside Nigeria. Wait, 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 and wait. And God wait. gave me a trip, a show in Ghana. <laughs> drink, my friend, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. I know. I don't. I don't overthink this thing. See where I can. Yes, you overthink him. I would say you should catch walk. <laughs> Let's catch walk. <laughs> Where are we? No, that's not catch walking. That's, that's good. Do, that's that's good, good walking. Good walking. <laughs> Ike Ike Chukunde Okonkwo, aka. Cross! <laughs> Are your intro without you? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink.
Thanks for staying with us. August is Immunization Awareness Month. Today we will be discussing um, diphtheria and other preventable diseases killing Nigerians because we do not take immunizations very seriously. <laughs> Joining us uh, to discuss the main causes, symptoms and treatment is um, the infectious disease expert himself, <laughs> Dr. Jafet Olubu in the building. <laughs> For those of you that don't know Dr. Jaffet, he was very, very prominent during COVID. Ah. And he was looking very, very scruffy. <laughs> Fast forward now. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you are looking on point yeah, and everything. Okay, this is yeah, what yeah. We okay. Well, well, well. you guys were taking me out of my house 5 a.m. every day ah. for three months. <laughs> and <laughs> tops. Ah, ah. Well, so if I cleaned up. Lagos is doing you well. Lagos is really doing you well. I'm happy you got Jaffet. If not jackpot, I'm uh, thank no, please don't no, jackpot. No. Just be, be yeah, shining. Well, like you have to motivate me. Uh, <laughs> motivate you. Anyway, <laughs> let's well, you now. <laughs> diphtheria. I mean, we've been hearing about it, reading about it in the papers for some time now. Um, tell us what it is exactly, because many people don't even know what it is. We've just been seeing diphtheria in the papers. What is it? Uh, well, uh, diphtheria is a bacterial disease. Uh, it's a very uh, infectious disease. They call it uh, Corine bacterium diphtheriae. Uh, it's a disease of the respiratory tract. Uh, respiratory tract is the nose, the throat, the trachea, and all that. And so uh, it, it um, comes from someone who is infected through sneezing and uh, coughing. Mm. Uh, we call it uh, we call that droplet infection. Mm. So when someone who has diphtheria coughs or sneezes, they emit uh, the bacteria onto other people, especially children. It's common in children. Uh, between 2 and 14 years. Although adolescents uh, above 14 years can also have it, uh, or even adults, but it's commoner within that uh, age group. People can also contract it through direct contact with uh, someone who has it, or uh, through uh, in the hospital uh, when they are taking care of someone who has it, or in the homes where we have people who are sick and they are being taken care of by their family members. So uh, diphtheria, respiratory tract infectious disease, communicable disease, Rhinic bacterium diphtheria. Although there are other um, strains of that uh, bacteria, but the one that causes the problem is the one called Rhinic bacterium diphtheria. Right. I mean, just very recently, we've been hearing all sorts of um, alarming um, stories coming out of children who are dying or in hospital because of diphtheria. And um, as far as I know, it's supposed to be one of the immunizations you get, even free, from government hospitals. What has caused these um, numbers to grow, and why do we have like a, a, a new infection, a wave of this diphtheria recently? Well, thank you very much. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it's, I mean, you know, likened to, uh, to that, uh, because during the COVID-19 pandemic, there was lockdown, a lot of children could not go to the hospitals, a lot of parents could not take their children to the hospital. So uh, they were denied access to routine immunization. Okay. And of course, you know, uh, like you rightly mentioned, diphtheria is one of the preventable diseases uh, uh, with routine immunization. So because these children could not have access to uh, routine immunization, uh, we have a low coverage of uh, uh, routine immunization in Nigeria nationally. Of course, it's all over the world, but of course, you know, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa is usually uh, the, the, the hot spot uh, for these kind of troubles when we have low coverage of routine immunization. So, undernourishment as well, uh, when children don't get enough to eat, uh, you know, uh, we have internally displaced people in Nigeria, a lot of uh, activities due to, uh, you know, banditry and all that. So we have a lot of children in Nigeria, I think WHO pecks is about uh, to about 6.2 million children uh, between 2019 and now who lack access to routine immunization. And this is one of the cogent reasons why we are having an upsurge of uh, routine uh, uh, diseases that ought to have been pretend, prevented by uh, immunization. So 2020 to now is just three years. Mm. So if the kids have had their immunization before and they are put in contact with someone who has diphtheria or someone who has it, uh, sneezes on them, will they catch it? Well, uh, what happens with diphtheria is that um, even 
uh, children, some children who have had their immunization can still have diphtheria because uh, the bacteria is there. Uh, uh, human beings are the only host to the bacteria. So the bacteria is like a commensal, uh, that is uh, something that lives there. But when they start releasing toxins, mm. uh, and that happens when uh, our immunization is not up to date. And let's not forget that um, the immunization may even be there and not complete. Some, the, 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 the full dosage ought to be three dosages at six, 10, and 14 weeks. Uh, but um, we ought to give those children a booster dose after every 10 years. Uh, so, oh. yes. So, we, we, they may be fully uh, vaccinated. They may be vaccinated and not fully vaccinated. Mm. They may even be fully vaccinated and still have uh, the infection. But then again, the people who are fully vaccinated have a high, uh, you know, uh, opportunity to ward off the infection. So you say after 10 years, do you mean that me too, I should have been taking every 10 oh, years? Oh, God. Uh, well, uh, it, it's <laughs> assumed that uh, as an adult, your immune system, <laughs> your immune level is, uh, you know, very high, you know, compared to children. So uh, we should think that you have some form of immunity against it, oh, but, you know, compared to uh, children. Because mm, no, when you say 10 years, you know it's 10 yes. years, then the next 10 years is 20. Yes, of course, you should get uh, a booster dose. But I, I suppose right? you should have gotten the booster dose because it's mm -hmm. in the, yes, it's in the uh, TD vaccine. That oh, you mean as a child? Pregnant mm. women. Oh. Uh, so we give pregnant women uh, five doses of TD vaccine. Yes. Yeah, so yes. you should have gotten your own booster dose oh, uh, okay. in that. So you should be covered. Uh, mm. It's, so it's children men? that I worry about. Yeah, okay. Mm. Fantastic question. Uh, men don't have that opportunity, especially in Nigeria, because we don't have uh, that TD vaccine designed for them. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, you know, when they want to prioritize some of these vaccines, uh, they prioritize those who are most vulnerable uh, to that particular disease. Okay. So women uh, who are pregnant, attend antenatal uh, care visits, uh, get their TD vaccines, they get their shots of TD vaccines, but men uh, don't get that. So men are vulnerable to it. Uh, and then uh, I remember earlier on in the year when we went for uh, this diphtheria uh, surveillance and uh, outbreak uh, a national guideline review, uh, it was one of the things we recommended that men, especially those who are health workers, those who are prone or could be prone to uh, getting the infection, should be allowed to have some form of uh, booster dose for, against uh, the diphtheria. Okay. Um, you know, when, when we take these stories, we wonder, we hear the, um, the spread. What would you feel is the best line of action to curb the spread? Are there states where it's, there's no diphtheria and how can they ensure that it doesn't get into their, their states? Yes, of course, there are states where there's no diphtheria because uh, it's only in about um, three LGAs in, uh, in the country. And, uh, well, uh, there are about uh, eight states where we have uh, the highest burden of the diphtheria outbreak. Although FCT and uh, Cross River are being reported to have joined them now. So there are other states that don't have the outbreak yet. And uh, Right now, they should be sensitizing, just like we are doing now. Yeah. They should be sensitizing, holding stakeholders, uh, community engagements, uh, you know, activating their SMCs, their social mobilization committees, uh, to create the awareness to the people so that um, those who are hesitant and skeptical about taking vaccines for their children uh, can go ahead and ensure that they get vaccines for their children because it is actually preventable. Uh, if children could be vaccinated, three doses of the vaccines at 6, 10, and 14 weeks, it could actually be prevented. But I'm aware that uh, right now, uh, the NPACDA, in collaboration with uh, state uh, uh, executive uh, primary care boards, are organizing some form of catch-up immunization activity. And this will enable children that have missed out on the vaccines to be able to get their vaccines and uh, the pentavalent which is a vaccine that contains the, the federal vaccines, uh, is, is one of the antigens uh, they are being given. Uh, this is organized like an outreach 
That is, they are taking it to where people live, where people yeah. reside, in markets, in shops, in churches, in mosques, and all that. So this is one of the strategies uh, that uh, are being rolled out to ensure that the outbreak does not spread further to other states or even further within uh, a particular state. I have a question from um, our YouTube viewers. Somebody was asking that you should talk about the fact that um, they, are, they are assuming that the reason diphtheria is high in Kano Kaduna is because they refuse to take the immunization as opposed to COVID. Which is an, as opposed to COVID is an allegation. They also asked that she talk about the newfound strain of, strain of COVID in the UK and what the implication might be for us in Nigeria. Uh, well, uh, in the northern part of the country, we've always had uh, vaccine hesitancy. Yeah. And it's a uh, big problem. Uh, I'm aware that the government has done a lot, uh, uh, talking to traditional rulers, community, uh, uh, and uh, engage, doing community engagements, talking to influencers in the communities to ensure that uh, people bring their children out to the health centers or they allow those who are taking the vaccines to their homes. To. So it's a huge problem. But of course, it's not limited to the north alone. We still have vaccine hesitancy even here in Lagos. There are people, yeah, there are people who uh, do not want to give the vaccines to their children for one reason or the other. I think uh, one, one thing we should be saying to people is that these vaccines are safe and they're being given to Nigeria by partners. Uh, Nigeria also are uh, doing its part to ensure that uh, her children are, uh, you know, vaccinated and protected against diseases that ought not, you know, kill children in the first place. So we should encourage our neighbors, our friends, our wives, our, you know, in-laws, whatever, to ensure that they take their children to uh, the various uh, PhDs oh. to uh, vaccinate yes. children. As per the new strain, of course, we always have new strains uh, in bacteria, uh, new strains in viruses, and uh, well, the COVID-19 example is still very rife in our memories, and uh, well, I believe that the healthcare systems all over the world are now prepared to deal with uh, uh, all sorts of new strains of uh, bacteria, of, uh, of viruses that may spring up, and, and that is why they've tagged them now as emerging diseases and re-emerging infectious uh, diseases. <sighs> Okay, any questions on social media? So, um, yeah, of course, there's the Australian media people. They are asking that why are the, the men in medicine, are, they should be working more on how to develop the vaccines for men. Um, someone is asking, what do you look forward to with the Minister for Health and the work that you, you expect yes, to do? Yes, that's true. We should have. Yes, to uh, correct the notion... Uh, there's actually a vaccine for men, uh, which is the uh, TDAP and uh, uh, DTAP. Uh, but uh, what we should be saying is that uh, we should make it available. I'm not quite sure we have that uh, TDAP in the country as we speak. We should make it available for, for men to have access to it. But then again, it's all uh, about funding and, and finances. Uh, what we look forward, soldiers, yes. <laughs> what we look forward uh, to from the new Minister of Health. Well, it's a an erudite professor. Uh, it's someone uh, who has the expertise uh, to do what is needed. Uh, we, I would personally like to see uh, a, a more uh, reformed uh, uh, health sector in Nigeria, uh, not just funded, but reorganize and ensure that uh, things are in place where they ought to be in place. Uh, I think those are, if we can do that, uh, we can improve our health systems because the building blocks of the health systems in the first place are financing, the workforce, the leadership, mm. policy, governance mm. and all that. So if we can get the, all those right, I'm sure we can you know, move the healthcare set up. So is there a treatment for if you catch this disease? Is there a yeah, treatment sure. and... Um, a permanent treatment, curable, is it life-threatening? Uh, the theory is life-threatening. Uh, the case fatality ratio, uh, that is, if 10 people have it, at least one of them may die from uh, Yes. Uh, so the case fatality ratio is about 10%. Uh, but it's treatable, absolutely treatable. Okay. Uh, there is uh, the diphtheria antitoxin, uh, which can be used to treat it, which is very good to treat it. There's also uh, antibiotics. Uh, uh, the physicians have antibiotics uh, that they can use to treat 
and uh, they are often effective if the cases are caught on Early. time and if uh, the children who have this, this diphtheria are taken to where they ought to get treatment on mm. time. Uh, I, I'm happy, sorry, Miriam. Okay. I'm happy you mentioned antibiotics because in the Western world, I'll talk about England because my grandkids are there, they do not like to um, prescribe antibiotics to children. children, even adults, you know. But here, we seem to uh, prescribe antibiotics all the time. And a lot of times when they even prescribe antibiotics, they will give you probiotics as well because antibiotics are actually killing some cells in the... Why is it There are some instances where you can do what we call watchful waiting uh, when someone has an infection. Watchful waiting in the sense that uh, if it's not so bad, uh, you give supportive treatment like uh, paracetamol, ensure the person is well hydrated, ensure the person has other things that the person needs. So when you do that watchful waiting, uh, the body can take over and win over uh, the infection. But most times when it comes to um, bacteria, you have to give an antibiotics. And the treatment in diphtheria I'm talking about is not some form of antibiotic that they, they will give the mother or take home and go and mm. take. No, 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 no. They will administer it in the hospital. Mm. So if a child has diphtheria in the UK, I am quite sure they're going to administer the eight years or administer antibiotics. So, you know, you talked about um, them being highly infectious. And I was wondering, during what period are they most infectious? When they're on treatment, are they still? Can they still infect someone else? The um, person caring for them, can that person still? A fantastic them? question. When uh, someone who has um, diphtheria, uh, when a child who has diphtheria has been on antibiotics for about 48 hours, uh, they should no longer infect other people anymore. Okay. Uh, by that time, uh, the, the infection is a bit docile. Fortunately, we have to wrap up. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure having you, Doctor, here with us. Thank you for having me, too. That's all we can take on today's show. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.